Hey friends, tonight I'm hanging out at Disney's Contemporary Resort. There's a couple different holiday drinks and desserts we want to try, but the main reason we're here tonight is because Magic Kingdom is testing fireworks. I am so excited. They sent out a little notice to the people that are staying at the Contemporary Resort that they're going to be testing fireworks between 10 p.m. and midnight. So we went to the Epcot one and decided to come check this one out as well. Anywho's, Let's go do this. I'm so excited to see some fancy Christmas decorations. They don't have their Christmas tree up yet, but tons of different decorations in the lobby itself. The big Christmas tree they have here at the Contemporary is one of my favorite Christmas trees because it has gigantic ornaments and I love it. And they're multicolor ones, but it's outside. It's not inside. Inside, they have a bunch of little trees like this. They're very pretty, very well decorated too. Kind of reminds me of a rustic contemporary Christmas tree. They also play some lovely contemporary style Christmas music with some nice wreaths and some lit up garland across the check-in area. And because they're not doing a gingerbread castle this year, they have a whole bunch of different gingerbread offerings, including this little guy right here. This is a gingerbread contemporary and it has a milk chocolate monorail, a white chocolate monorail that goes through it. Very festive. I might actually get one of these though. This is my mom's favorite holiday cookie. I'm gonna take a trip upstairs to meet up with one of my friends because she's gonna be joining me with tonight's festivities. And I'm excited because tonight's gonna be a great night. I am just so excited for the chance to see fireworks shooting off at the Magic Kingdom. Even though they're just test fireworks, it's still gonna be pretty amazing just to get a peek see of them, you know what I'm saying? Now that we're up a level here, I want to give you a look out at the actual view of the castle because there's an amazing sunset happening as we speak. Look at this. I am literally, I have a loss of words right now. That is beautiful, isn't it? And this is where the fireworks are going to take place. Here comes a monorail. Wow, that might be the best thing I've ever shot right there. Right here is a great spot to actually see the fireworks, but it is six o'clock. The test doesn't begin till 10, and we already have kind of a group waiting, but man, I can't get over this. It's so beautiful, isn't it? And I'm hanging out with my dear friend Jackie. Hello there. Yep, all a part of the festivities tonight, and we're just staring out because this is, like I said, it's beautiful. But we are going to try some special drinks. Yep. And hopefully catch uh, some fireworks. Not a fireworks show, just some fireworks. <laughs> Don't take anything. Yes. But if you thought that view was good, wait till you see what I got in store for you in a couple minutes as we make our way over there. It's not often you see something over the Contemporary Resort, but look at this. Right there is the moon. Wow, guys. So as you can see, we have multiple options to enjoy these fireworks. Now, where we plan on going, who knows? Whatever's best. But for now, I think we're gonna head down and like, get some of those holiday drinks that we were talking about. And we're heading right to the Wave. This is our go-to spot for holiday drinks. Here at the Wave, they have a huge lineup of different festival holiday drinks. But the one that we're gonna be drinking tonight is a very limited edition drink. It's gonna be their Thanksgiving drink, which is actually only gonna be available the week of Thanksgiving. So you're gonna to wanna to try this because it's not gonna be here forever. But in the near future, we are going to do a huge collaboration video where we actually do a Christmas monorail crawl. And these right here are going to be on the menu. These are all Christmas themed cocktails and they're all phenomenal. But tonight, we are going to focus on that special limited edition Thanksgiving drink. Normally, we sit down at the bar, but this blue room, it's just, it's, it's feeling nice, isn't it? It's called the Alcove, I just learned. The Alcove. AKA the Blue Room. I'm calling it the Blue Bayou. Ooh. Here it is. This is the pumpkin pie martini. Doesn't that look so amazing? It's so creamy. This is gonna be fantastic. One week only, Thanksgiving week. But now I'm going in for the first taste. I am so excited. This looks amazing. Holy moly. That is the most amazing pumpkin alcoholic drink I've ever had. That is unbelievable. We'll see how Jackie likes hers. Yeah, let's see how Jackie likes hers. 
so good. It's amazing. I know the color changed a little bit because we moved on over to the blue room again, but I know there's rum chata in it and there's actual pumpkin pie filling in it. Like this is a very well constructed drink. But since we are here and we love the actual pumpkin pie martini, we're going to give you just a preview of one of the three drinks that we're going to be trying during our monorail bar crawl, our holiday monorail bar crawl. And here they are, the peppermint kiss. I like that sweet. That was good. Yep. <laughs> That's it right there. Beautiful. The peppermint kiss. All for science. Cheers. Cheers to the peppermint kiss. Mm. That is so good. Mm, minty. Mm. The wave is mm. killing it with the holiday festive drinks. They really are. They're killing it. Yeah. The this is a wonderful drink. Yeah. The pumpkin pie martini mm -hmm. is still probably going to be my favorite because that has, like I said, a real pumpkin pie filling. This does have peppermint infused vodka though. So I don't know. It depends on what you like more. Now I think it's time to head out. We have to get ready and get a good spot for the fireworks. Like I said, we have plenty to choose from. My mask is upside down. That's much better. Anywho, we're gonna go try to find a good spot so we can just hang out and wait for the fireworks. That's the plan. We might as well get some snacks while we're here. Oh look, our friend Nick from Magical News Live. Yeah, and then our some other friends right here heading over to the California Grill. Yeah. This is the good stuff though, right? But maybe we'll end up getting a gingerbread boy cookie. A gingerbread boy cookie. I got two. Oh, you got two? Yeah. Oh, fancy. Yeah. Are these the ginger boys? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think we're gonna head and try our luck at the top of Bay Lake Tower, which is one of my favorite spots. I recently just saw a sunrise from there, so I know that I can get up there, and I think it'd be an amazing view. But if that doesn't work out, then we're gonna come back down, and we're gonna actually stand over where I first showed you guys, and that one was amazing as well. But just take a look at that big, beautiful castle. Just to see a glimmer of a firework in the sky is going to make me feel so much happiness. We're going all the way up. Yep, hopefully this is it. This is going to be the spot for tonight. Absolutely beautiful at the Top of the World Lounge. Even though the Top of the World Lounge is not open at the moment, we can still come up here and view it. Because me and Jackie are the only people up here, we can take our mask off and just kind of hang out. Now, if more people end up joining us, we'll put our mask on, of course. But like from the looks of it, I mean, I think we got it all to ourselves. There's our little ginger boy. So cool. And I'm happy we're going to be able to eat this kind of with a beautiful view, right? Oh, this is the stuff. This is literally so much happiness for me tonight. <laughs> this will be my first official gingerbread man of the holiday season. And I couldn't be happier right now with how this is actually playing out. I mean, this is great and I feel like it's just too good to be true, but I absolutely love it. So thanks little buddy. <laughs> you made him head first. <laughs> That is so good, but I'm loving the music up here. But for now, we can just stare out at the castle for a little bit and just kind of take a look at it. It's so beautiful. And we're gonna see a little of the projections change eventually. So let's just cheers to the holidays. Cheers to the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> you can legit see the Christmas tree here. Jackie just showed me on her camera, but look at it right there. So beautiful. I love it. We have been up here for just about 20 minutes, I would say so, and we have an hour to wait. So we got here an hour ahead of time just to make sure we get a good spot. And uh, so far, like I said, it's paying out. Nobody's up here with us, but I feel like this is probably the best vantage point to watch fireworks. Now, if you watch fireworks from California Grill or Bay Lake Tower, let me know which one you prefer. You know what I mean? Let me know which one you think is the better viewing experience. I always think Bay Lake Tower. 
they have a really nifty sign up here and it's on the horizon it kind of showcases all the cool things so obviously we have the monorail right here and then you have space mountain the castle right to the left of the castle is big thunder mountain and then you have splash mountain and then the grand floridian and then number six is the disney's wedding pavilion very cool how you can just look at this and then see that happened what space mountain just changed <gasps> the castle just lit up in a weird way did you oh, see I've that seen it. oh it just lit up in normal lights oh okay that was interesting they're doing something yeah the castle first of all so space mountain just got that red light on it and the castle just went from the snow lights to normal lighting back to the snow lights. Funny story now, we've been posted up shop right here for about 45 minutes. Uh, they said from 10 to 12 and nothing has happened yet. The castle has changed colors and also Spaceship Earth, uh, not Space Spaceship, Mountain. Space Mountain. I do that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> but that's about it. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're here for the long game. We're, we're waiting out. You know, even if it's one spark, it's a spark of uh, imagination. Oh. Oh there it is. God. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's happening. They're Christmas fireworks, Woo! like kind of. <laughs> there it is. Get ready. Castle just turned back on. Oh, interesting. The castle. Oh, it just turned back off. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh now it's back on. Oh my gosh. They're, they're playing some games with the castles off. here. Also, that is something brand new right there. Oh boy. My lord. Oh my god. That was well worth it. I'm so happy that we hung up out here. It was so awesome to see fireworks again. I don't know if it's over yet, but I think we're done. Uh, it's about 11.30. Uh, so we've been up here for two and a half, three hours. And it was worth it. Let me tell you, absolutely worth it. And I think that's all, folks. Nothing else happened, but man, that was beautiful. One last look at the Magic Kingdom before it goes to bed for the night. Anywho's, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I would have enjoyed this video even if no fireworks happened because it was just so cool hanging out here. Just having a good time, like an adventure. So, we'll see you next time. Bye.